The fighting between Israeli forces and Palestinian fighters is ongoing in Tulkarem in the occupied West Bank. At least five Palestinians have been killed in an Israeli drone strike in the area. Israeli forces stormed an emergency department at Tabit, Tabit Hospital in Tulkarem during a raid. Meanwhile, a 30-year-old Palestinian man has been killed by Israeli forces during further series of raids in the occupied West Bank. It happened in the village of Azun, which is east of Kalkilia. Let's go to Nida Ibrahim, who is live for us in Ramallah. So are these raids still ongoing? The Tulkarim raid has ended and uh, Palestinian sources in the refugee camp are telling us that at least five Palestinians have been killed in addition to five who have been wounded. We've seen videos of the Israeli forces storming inside ambulances near the hospitals in the refugee camp. They uh, held the people who were injured inside the ambulance car for a while. Then they arrested an injured Palestinian who is believed to have been wanted by the Israeli forces. We know that there are several fighters in the Tul Karim refugee camp who have been fighting the Israeli forces militarily, usually when they enter the refugee camp. And we've seen Israel intensify its raids to the camp. We've been also seeing the intensive use of drone strikes. We've been seeing bulldozing of uh, roads as well as cutting the networks of electricity and water before. But today it seems to be more of the same of that situation. We're also talking about other raids that are ongoing in Adhesha refugee camp near Bethlehem. And we are still uh, counting on our sources to give us the latest toll of those Palestinians arrested in these raids. We're talking today roughly about 30 Palestinians who have been arrested. And that brings the total of Palestinians that the Israeli forces have detained since the 7th of October to more than 3,000. So Palestinians, while they're looking at the uh, hostage releases and the prisoner uh, deals, they're also looking at those Palestinians who are still getting detained by the day. Thank you for that, Nida Ibrahim, there for us in Ramallah.